Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. And in this video, you will learn that how to find the strength of a double angle tension member when it is subjected to the dead and live loads. I have been given a question which says that a double angle tension member that is 2L5 cross 3 cross 1 by 4 long legs back to back of A242 steel is subjected to a dead load of 15 kips and a live load of 35 kips. It is connected to a gusset plate with 7 by 8 inch diameter bolts through the long legs. We have to check does this member have enough, enough strength according to the LRFD and the AST. You can see the figure for this uh, double angle tension member. Okay, It is a uh, L5 cross 3 cross 1 by 4 and it is having long legs back to back. Okay. And the diameters for the bolts are 7 by 8 inch. First, you will find the properties of this double angle from the steel construction manual. Okay, and its properties are that is gross area for this angle. This is 3.88 inch square. Thickness of the angle. This is 1 by 4 inch. Distance from the centroid of the connected area to the plane of the connection. That is the X bar. This is 0.648. This you can find in the steel construction manual for this single angle that is L5 cross 3 cross 1 by 4. Okay, so it is 0 0.648 inch. Diameter of bolt is 7 by 8 inch. It means diameter of bolt hole this will be 7 by 8 plus 1 by 8 which is 1 inch. Since there are 4 bolt holes for these two angles that is two in each along the critical section. So number of bolt holes for this will be four. Net area, this will be gross area minus number of bolt holes multiplied by the thickness of the angle multiplied by the diameter of the bolt hole. So it will be 3.88 minus four into one by four into one. This will be equal to 2.88 inch square. Length of connection, okay, this is three inch that is distance uh, between the center of the bolt holes this is three inch along in the direction of the load okay this is three inch shear lag factor this is one minus x bar divided by l which is one minus 0 0.648 divided by three this is equal to 0 0.784 effective area this will be equal to the shear lag factor multiplied by the net area this will be equal to 0 0.784 multiplied by 2.88 which is 2.26 inch square. For A4, A242 grade 50 steel, yield strength this is 50 KSI and ultimate strength this is 70 KSI. Nominal strength in yielding this will be yield strength multiplied by gross area so it will be 50 into 3.88 which is 194 kips nominal strength in the rupture this will be ultimate strength multiplied by the effective area so it will be 70 multiplied 2.26 which is 158.2 kips for the lrft design strength based on yielding this will be nominal strength in yielding multiplied by the resistance factor which is 0 0.9 so it will be 0 0.9 multiplied by 194 which is 174.6 kips Design strength based on rupture, this will be a resistance factor multiplied by the nominal strength in rupture, which is 158, and the resistance factor in rupture is 0 0.75. So, design strength based on rupture, this will be 118.65 kips. Since the strength in rupture is smaller of the two values, so it will control the uh, design. Therefore, the design strength for this section in LRFT, this will be 118.65 kips. Ultimate load according to the ASCE 7 loading combination is uh, 1.2 times dead load plus 1.6 times live load. 1.2 times since our dead load is 15 plus 1.6 times our live load is 35. So it will be 74 kips. You can see ultimate load is less than the design strength for this section in LRFT. So it means this section is safe to carry the given loads. Okay. For AST allowable strength based on yielding, this will be nominal strength divided by the safety factor in yielding. So it will be 194 divided by 1.67, which is 116.2 kips. Allowable strength based on rupture, this will be nominal strength in rupture divided by safety factor in rupture. 
so it will be 158.2 divided by 2 which is 79.1 kips you can see the uh, allowable strength rupture this is uh, smaller of the about two value so it will control the design therefore you can say that the allowable strength for this section in asd is 79.1 kips allowable load according to the asc sound loading combination this is dead load plus live load so it will be 15 plus 35 which is 50 kips again this is less than the allowable strength for this section in asd so you can say that this member is advocate to carry the loads safely because the allowable strength is greater than the allowable load so this is how you can find the design tensile strength for a double angle and check its advocacy for the loads i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you have some doubts or queries you can write them in the comment box and i will be happy to help you thanks for watching my video and if you like this video please share this video with your friends thanks for watching and stay tuned